simply means to practice the word. Do you really think?
Monster around. Put away that weapon. Smart kid. There's another of those scummy beasts. How are things? Ah, a new face here on the farm. Has the old skin flint finally granted me an apprentice? I'm not an apprentice. Oh, I see. I'm not as young as I used to be, you know, and uh, I've been waiting for a replacement for years. You aren't here because the neighbors are annoyed, are you? What's the work you do here? Oh, I guard the sheep, and uh, I've been doing that for as long as I can remember. The animals are very loyal and uh, very smart, you see. If you treat them well, they'll follow you for a lifetime. What's the trouble with your neighbors? The grass on this side of the big field is always so stunted and dry, so I mostly go to the big pastures of the other farmers. Ooh, the landowner doesn't mind, but Bengar, the farmer on the high pastures, always makes a big deal out of it when I take the animals up there. He says Sekob should pay if I take his animals onto Bengar's pasture, but Sekob won't spend a measly coin for that, so I can't go up onto the plateau anymore. Where can I find the high pastures in Bengar's farm? Follow this path and cross the big crossroad. If you stick to the right, you'll see a big outcropping of rock. Behind that, to the right, are the high pastures and the pass. Maybe I should talk to Bengar. 
You do that for me? What will you tell them? I mean, I don't want any trouble, you hear? We'll see about that. Have you seen any bandits passing through here? I certainly have. They passed along the edge of the field near Sekob's farm and entered the forest to the north. They were carrying loads of weapons. They looked like they were all set to win the war against the orcs. Oh, I'm just glad they stayed away from our farm. Everything else all right? Oh, I can't complain. Thanks for asking. Well, kiddo? That's no way for a farmhand to talk to me. Just how often do I have to remind you? Are you in charge here? Uh, no, I'm only Sekup's son. But once my old man is no longer with us, then all the land you can see here will belong to me. Amazing. Is that how you always treat your field workers? Of course, they need that. Whoever doesn't tow the line here gets thrashed. That's the way it goes. I need to talk to your father. He hasn't got time. But I'm his deputy. What can I help you with? By introducing me to your father. You're a real tough guy and a good fighter, huh? The best. I think maybe I better get him then. Never mind, boy. I'll find him, I'm sure. If you say so. So where are we headed then? Are you the foreman here? I'll give you one upside the head, you rascal. If you want to go ambling across my land, you'll pay me five gold coins, or you're in for a good thrashing. Your land? Are you the farmer here? You can bet on that. Why else would I make you pay me a toll? I don't mind if you go ask the others about me. <laughs> Forget it. You won't get anything from me. Then I'm afraid I'm gonna have to tan your hide. Come on and try it then. Well, in that case... Don't you try that again. So, still got that big mouth? Don't beat me, please! I'll even go back to work, okay? Hey! There's this guy who demands a toll from every passerby, claiming he's the farmer. Uh, yes, I know. That's Bronco. He does whatever he wants. Not that I haven't pounded it into him a thousand times that he should finally get back to work. But? 
He just doesn't do it. My father's quite annoyed with me that I still haven't managed to persuade him to go back to work. Maybe I can help you. Do you mean that? Okay, listen, if you can get Bronco to go back to work, I'll pay you, shall we say, 10 gold pieces? What do you say? No problem, but I want more money. All right, 20 gold pieces then. I want more. 30? I want more. Maybe 50? All right, I'll see what I can do. But hurry up about it. Hey, you! So what do you do when you're not busy playing ruler of the farm? Stand guard. The filthy militiamen from the city are coming onto our land more and more often and stealing everything they can get their hands on. Only last week the bastards were here, and they took some of our sheep. If I could get my hands on one of them, I'd make short work of him. But of course. Has anyone blown your nose for you today? Leave me alone, you idiot. Why don't the mercenaries help you against the militia? Before they even turn up, I've already driven them off. Hey, you! Everything all right with you? Well, it's so-so. My back hurts from all this hard labor. What are you doing here? I don't get visitors here all that often. Usually it's either some cutthroats from the mountains or those horrible malicious soldiers from the city. They've been raiding our farm rather frequently lately, but you don't look like you're one of them, or are you? What are you doing here? I've been asking myself that for several years. Sekub, my husband, has fallen out with everyone in the area by now. He's in debt everywhere, and so he steals goods from Onar's stocks and sells them in town. By now, he's accumulated a fortune with his underhanded dealings, and he works our field hands until their backs break. His own people call him nothing but slave driver these days. I'm not particularly proud to call myself the wife of Sekub. Believe me, Sometimes I wish the barrier were still in place. Would you like to buy something to eat? Or perhaps something for hunting in the forest? Barrier? Well, it's the dome that used to enclose the old Valley of Mines. Many of the farmers and workers who committed a crime back then were simply tossed in there, and they never came back. Why did the militia attack you on your farms here? because there's nobody there to prevent them from simply plundering our farms instead of buying our goods. The king is far away, and we just have to put up with working for Onar and hoping that Onar will send help when we really need it. What does Onar's help look like? Sometimes we receive warning in advance when some militiamen are planning to pay us a visit on their own account to rob us. Then we send somebody to the old landowner to ask him for help. And then usually, it doesn't take long for the mercenaries he pays to come here and chase off the militia. But when all is said and done, the mercenaries aren't much better. Have you ever been at the barrier? No, we only heard about it. Bengar, the farmer on the high pastures, can surely tell you more about that. His farm is quite close to the pass which leads to the Valley of Mines. How can I get to Bengar's farm? Go ask Balthazar. He's our shepherd. He sometimes leads his animals to graze on Bengar's pastures up there. He'll be able to tell you how to get there. What can you offer me? What do you want? Keep your chin up. Take care of yourself and don't let them get to you. What are you doing on my land? There's nothing here to steal clear off. Isn't there a piece of land in this blasted country that doesn't belong to anyone? Go to work. Then maybe someday you can call a piece of land your own. But until then, kindly loaf around somewhere else. Listen. I don't have any work for you at the moment. Now go.
Listen. I don't have any work for you at the moment. Now nah, go. How's it going? You're not one of us, huh? I'd get out of here if I were you. Why? This wasn't a paradise before, but at least we were left in peace as long as we did our work for Sekob. But lately it's become unbearable. Bandits are everywhere, field raiders destroy the entire harvest, and the landowner is getting to be pretty brutal. Are you afraid of the landowner then? You bet. If the landowner doesn't like people's faces, he sends his mercenaries after him, and that's the last you see of them. So we prefer to keep our mouths closed. Shouldn't the mercenaries take care of the field raiders? I don't know what they're being paid for, but certainly not to help us common people. The field raider problem is left to the small farmers who rent the fields from him. How do you protect yourselves against the bandits? We don't. We run away. What else? So who's the nasty guy over there? Don't get me wrong, but I don't want to get into trouble. Go ask somebody else. Keep your chin up. That's not so easy if you're working for Sekob, the slave driver. Hello, beautiful maid. Stop trying to sweet talk me, boy. And tell me what you want. I'm busy. How's the field work coming? Look at these huge fields we have to work. And you know how we're doing. Are you looking for farm work? Maybe. In that case, you should go and see our farmer Sekob, the old slave driver. Maybe he's got something for you. Of course. You could also try owner's farm at the end of the long road. But beware of the mercenaries. They don't take to strangers. Say, the nasty fellow over there. That's Bronco. What about him? Is that your farmer? Ha! <laughs> is that what he told you? Sakob is our farmer. Bronco is nothing but a layabout and a good-for-nothing. But strong as an ox. That's why nobody says anything when he doesn't work. The only people who could get him to work are the mercenaries. He's afraid of them. And apart from that? I'm busy. So, still got that big mouth? Don't beat me, please! I'll even go back to work, okay?
Hey. Bronco's back at work. Really? That's terrific. Yeah, and now I want my cash. Hmm, well, business is business, right?
All by yourself out here? Tell me what you want of me, and then go away! I'm busy! Who are you? You haven't heard of me, then. Herb witch, they say. Quack, they call me. But when they're in a bad way, they all suddenly remember good old Sigita and her healing herbs. Can you heal me? That's what you came for, isn't it? Just let me know when there's something wrong with you. What are you doing out here? I've been living here for as long as I can remember, attending to my herbs. The forest is my friend. It offers me all that I need. Heal me. Let me see. Hmm. My ointment will take care of the worst of your wounds. What wares do you have to offer? Tell me what you want. Can you teach me your herbal lore? How interesting. I don't get asked that very often. So you want to be my student? Then you'll first have to prove your request is serious. At the moment, I am working on a very rare potion made from exquisite herbs and juices. If you can get me one ingredient, a very rare herb, which I don't have here, I shall train you. Where can I find this ingredient? The herb I require only grows in places where it can get all the nutrients it needs. These are found in the excrements of a black troll. That's why it's so difficult for me to get the herb, you see? 
What ingredient is that? It's an extremely rare plant, an herb called sun aloe. You can recognize it by its intensive almond scent. Let's see if I can get hold of it somewhere. Well then, good luck with your search.